Uh, but horizontal boosting is fine. Because you can do that accident accidentally. And it doesn't really give you that much of a benefit. Just propels you forward a little bit sometimes. But yeah, so like, that jump into the elevator there, that isn't a glitch. It's just pure intended mechanics. Like, all you're doing is stacking a chair on top to jump over a railing. And then just falling down to the bottom where the end of the map is. Like, none of that is a glitch. Using a chair, climbing on top of it, it's all intended. It was just a developer oversight to put the railing... Well, put those boxes in such a way that you can use the chair to jump over the railing. Over there, place it in the corner. What? You think I think trusted? Do I look like an inbred hog, sir? Who gives a damn what it contains? Just shut it down carefully and leave me be. This guy's quite the racist. This game will teach you all sorts of wondrous things, fan. You have no idea. <laughs> uh, it d it depends on ca case by case. Uh, I want to call you Dask. Is it, it might be Daske or something, but you know, we'll go with Dask. But yeah, it, it depends on like a game by game basis. So like. In, um... What am I doing? This way. Like, sequence bra breaks, like that jump down to the elevator that I did, it's allowed. Like, you're, you're skipping, like, an entire map. It's a big skip, right? You're skipping, like, three to four minutes of stuff that you would do intentionally. But it's allowed because it doesn't involve a glitch. It's just clever use of intended mechanics. But yeah, so it depends on, like, game by game. But I think EasyScape made a video on glitchless categories that was pretty good. Um, that, yeah, one, fu one size fits all doesn't work at all. Never works. Uh, but yeah, so I think EasyScape said that usually a glitch is... A, a non-intentional mechanic causing a non-intentional outcome. That's definitely a glitch. And then a intentional outcome giving you an inten uh, an intentional mechanic giving you an, int an intentional outcome. That's not a glitch. But then the issue becomes when you use an intentional mechanic to gain an unintentional result. So that clip down to the elevator is using intended mechanics. You're not bugging out the game, you're not clipping out of bounds. It's absolutely intended. Everything you do there is intended. But what's not intended is the developers didn't expect you to be able to go over that rail. And because you do, you can fall right the way down without ever going out of bounds or doing any kind of glitch. So that's, that's you know, what needs to... That's where, like, the case-by-case -case basis comes in. You need to figure out what's a glitch and what isn't. In that sense. Like, it's never truly properly defined. And even big communities like Pokemon, when the text skip thing was found, are like constant. I'm going the wrong way. Constantly going back and forth. Figuring out if things should be banned or allowed. And it'll happen in every game. But I think the Dark Descent's rules are something decent to go on for now. Which is no spawn triggers. No, no vertical boosting. No glitch states. And no out of bounds. It's pretty good for now.
it'll do for now. Until the mods actually make like a defined set of rules for this. Hello, hello. How's it going? What's occurring? As they say. Hey, Caesar, what up? I got the lowdown on Smokes, yay! Where it is every Monday and Friday, the cash leaves Los Santos for San Fierro. Then every Wednesday and Saturday, a courier takes the yay back to Big Smoke. I do Okay, not I care. keep an eye out for him. See if I can't spoil a little party. All right, man. You don't skip this? I guess not. Hey, look, my save markers have disappeared. Good to know that glitch is still in the game. I'm a cop. I'm to kill us. Oh, I guess it's not glitched at the minute. get the camera and then I'm gonna start uh what's it called actually how much ammo do I have I already have like a hundred ammo that's more than enough I mean I can get some more anyway it's right here hey James what's up hey plug hey Fredster what's up I even got a cop bike how kind of that guy to just leave his cop uh right let me pull up a snapshot map hold on GTA SA snapshots. <laughs> you should lower the music volume. I mean, it's the same volume that it's always on. Hey, doctor, what's up? You should shut your door. I can't fully shut the door because there's an Ethernet cable running down it as like a temporary solution. That's as far as I'll I'll do it. How many achievements left? Uh, let me check. Twenty. Three. All right, I found a map. This is a 100% playthrough. You're just going to get all achievements. Well, you need to get 100% to get um, all achievements. So it's both technically. Have I considered PLCs? I don't know what that is. What is a PLC? Okay, um, I guess we'll start like south because, you know, we're kind of on the south side. We'll go from there. Yeah, what is a PLC? Everyone keep an eye out for, because we need to find the, uh, the, like, the thing that you take a picture of.
Like, I assume you take a picture of the bridge, but, yeah. So network pro, oh, you mean a power line adapter is what you mean. I guess you call them PLCs, but I've never heard of that term. Yeah, I know what a power line adapter is and no, I'm not considering it. Because I, or I ha already have a solution figured out. This is just a temporary setup, as I said. Like, it will be fixed. So where the fuck do I take a picture? Hey, Denon Miss, thanks for the pride. Thank you. you don't happen to know where the uh, snapshot thing is for this, do you? It's right at the top, but like I, I'm looking all the way at the top. Look, like there's nothing here. You don't like, they're not locked behind like a mission or something, right? Cause I know after photo opportunity, you, I know after photo opportunity, you, you get like the thing that says like, oh, you should use the camera and go and like go around San Fierro and stuff. But I don't think they're locked behind anything. After having reached some Fiero, yeah. Oh, hold on, this has like uh, location things. Hold on. About 30 meters above the northern end of the bridge. Okay, so it is like mega high up. But I don't see it, like, I'm... How high is 30 meters? Like, I'm looking all the way up and I don't see it. Hey, Fuzz. What's up? We start mushing photos. I only have limited ammo, though. And I've got to take 50. So this is the northern point of the bridge. Oh, it's there, look. But why is it there? Like... That's not the bridge at all. <laughs> like, what the fuck? That's very weird. Has it always been there? I mean, a, by what James is saying, it seems to be a problem in the original as well. I guess it's just that that one place has weird issues. All right, uh, next one is here. Just a lot easier to see an OG, yeah, maybe. Because you, you don't need to actually see the, like, the blip thing to take a picture of it. You just need to, like, you know, get it, get it in, like, properly in the camera. But, like, yeah. I don't know where they are until I spawn them in, which requires, like, getting quite close, you know. Like, I assume this one's at, like, the top of the structure, but... Hey, Riggy, thanks. Oh, no, it's not. It's there. Again, not at all. But then even there doesn't count. Like, you have to get quite close to them. Alright, number three is here. I remember doing this one with you, James. Years ago. I remember this. Oh shit, I'm... <laughs> I did not realize that I was just plummeting. I was reading my chat. That was fucking... Unlucky. Uh, I'm glad you liked it, Les Matty. I'm glad you liked it. Anyone get a CS2 beta? Is it like an open beta? Fuzz? Or how, how does it work? Yeah, I assume I can't just, like, look from here, right? Because I need to, like, be close enough to spawn the thing in. It's getting granted to random people. Uh, I don't think I did. But I didn't sign up for it or anything, so... Anyone spot a uh, snapshot thing? 
Is it way up top again? I don't see it. They're so hard to spot. To get closer. Perfect. Hey Adam, thanks buddy. Look at that. Perfect parking. Any uh, any snapshots? You don't need to sign up to get it? Okay, well, I don't think I've got, like, an email or anything, and that's probably how they would tell me, right? I should probably just look up the guide and just see where they are, because otherwise it's going to take fucking forever to find where they are. Oh, this one's on top of one of the buildings, apparently. Can I just do it through the wall? Yeah. <laughs> Easy. In theory, you get a notification on CSGO. Okay, well, I won't have one then because I fucking... I never touched CSGO. Uh, next one's like right here, apparently. I need my car. How's it going? Uh, you know, just taking pictures. Standard day in the life. How are you? I'm new to watching the whole GTA speedrunning thing. I have a question. How do you guys speedrun the 3D GTA games without sound patch? Um, I, I don't know what you mean exactly. Like, silent patch isn't required for the games to like run. It's like it's like a common uh, misconception about the games. Like, sure, Silent Patch makes it easier because you can just like boot the game and just play. But everything that you can fix with Silent Patch, you can fix by just doing other fixes that don't require modding the game. So like, we just play it without Silent Patch. Like, we just fix the game in non-intrusive ways. This guy rear-ended me, and now is coming at me. Fuck off, man. Uh, the sign at the airport, at the airport entrance. Okay. Uh, this way. This looks like a sign for the entrance. Uh, the peak of the control tower in the airport next to the landing strip. This thing. Ooh, bikes. Because I didn't know I trust. Does it mouse controls completely break at times on Villa Learn Modern Hardware? Uh, depending on your mouse, you might need a DLL file called D input. Um. Because sometimes when you like tab out and stuff, your mouse can like stop working. But yeah, that's very easily fixed. You don't need silent patch for that. And you know, just like rinse and repeat with like any other fix. Like they can all be fixed without silent patch. The X and Y axis are different values without fix, but I guess we don't just get used to it. You don't even have to get used to it because you just leave them at default and then change your DPI on your mouse. So they're always the same value because your mouse changes it properly. Again, no silent patch needed. Like sure, would it be more convenient to use silent patch because it just fixes everything really easily? Yeah, sure, but like it's unnecessary. And obviously, you know, modding the game is very frowned upon in speedrunning. Especially if you don't need to mod the game. You know? Uh, this one is just like in between these tankers apparently. Uh, 
Oh, that makes sense. You only get this icon when you have the... Uh, when you have the thingy camera equipped. I didn't know that was a thing. That's why I was confused for a second. All right, next one. In the air above the middle of the bridge east of the airport. Okay. So just this one. So maybe I can take it from like here? Because the bridge is right here. Right? Above the middle of the bridge. Like you'd think you'd be able to see it from here, right? But I don't see it anywhere. That's like the middle. I think we might have to go around. Fuck's sake. I could maybe steal a helicopter or something. That might be a bit more useful. Are the helis even open? I don't remember. They might be locked. Will you fuck off, Caesar? Hey, Caesar. The Yay leaving San Piero, right? Right, but they're using bikes, CJ, and they go cross country. <sighs> No, go away. Not right now. I gotta check into some shit. Piss off. Yo, how do I fly in this? Is it the same shitty mouse controls? What button is it? Hello? Oh. Left click? Yeah, left click in the mouse. Brilliant. Does anyone actually do the courier side missions? You need to do them for 100%, so... Yeah. If I had the choice, I wouldn't, but I don't have a choice, so. Yeah, mouse flying, it's fucking gross, man. Alright, now we should be able to see it. But still no, like it's not here anywhere. You a you actually have to be in range to spawn it in. Yeah, look at that. That's so dumb, in my opinion. You should just be able to do it from Wherever, as long as you can see the landmark. But in this, you have to, like, spawn the fucking things in. Is it better than GTA 4 keyboard and mouse flying? No, GTA 4 is way better. Above a building at the port. It's, like, here. Choreo missions are optional, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they're optional for the to beat the game. But they're not optional for 100%. Which is what I was saying. Yeah, Zach, it's fucking garbage. Alright, where do I park here? I guess just like here. Luckily you don't have to do that much flying in this game. There's only like flight school and like a few missions. It's not too bad. What building has it? This one? Yeah, it's like round the back of this one. I think. Flight score is still a lot. I mean, not really. Like, in the in the grand scheme of things. It's really not that much content. It takes like 15, you know. 15. Like, 5 minutes max. Where the fuck is this one? I guess I... I should have parked on the roof, in hindsight. I want to go and do that. Fly to Liberty City. True, yeah. But again, that's only like two minutes. For like a 30 hour playthrough, you know, it's, it's really not a lot.
It's just not here. Is it this one? What fucking roof are they talking about? I'm so confused. It's here, just aim higher. Ah. Ah, fucking hell. Why are these so AIDS in DE, man? I don't remember struggling this much. In the original. Apparently there's one like here. Next to the two fuel containers. Is that random purple light? Is that a gun? Like, how does that not count? Oh, the purple icon was for the fucking camera thing. Wait, so... So the purple icon was there, but then until you have the... Th the uh, until you have the camera out, the actual icon doesn't show. So there's just a random purple glow for no reason. Great game. Yeah, the, the Caesars call for Big Smoke's, uh, like, shipments, yeah, they're completely optional. Yeah. How on earth did you trigger that command, Fuzz? Hold on. Weather. That's so weird. The only things that should trigger it are the words how, what, or bot, and then weather in one sentence. But unless I'm mega blind, you didn't. You didn't use any of those words. Weird. Show? Show isn't a word for it. It's only, like I've written it to only trigger on those keywords. Weird. Oh well. Uh, right. The train station above the railways. Why is Vice City the greatest video game in human history? That is a fantastic question. Fuck you. Why are you talking about the weather in the chat? I'm not talking about the weather. Hey Wolfblock, so what's up? The top of the yellow, uh, it's just a crane. I would have been better off running for this one probably because it's like literally right here. Is it a bot? Is this your first day in my stream or what? Literally had this bot for like three years.
Why? The fuck do you mean why? I didn't make the bot. I don't know. I love the basketball court. Oh, I need to like win a game of basketball or something as well. I'm not win a game of basketball, but like do something to do with basketball. San Andreas DE achievements. I'm just gonna look up like a an achievement list. Just so I don't have to keep going into the same thing. Basketball. Basket. There's nothing on here about basketball. Oh, this isn't definitive edition, that's why. Basket. Score at least 30 points in the mini game. Okay, I can do that. Oh fuck, this is a baseball court, not a basketball court. Okay, I'm trolling. Uh, anyone it, anyone know this is a basketball court in... Uh, in San Fierro? Uh, this is what I was looking for. Snapshots are recommended bike over a heli, except that for those few out of the... Uh, I mean, that's fine. I prefer using a heli. No basketball courts in San Fierro. Okay. I know where one in LS is, so we can do it like on the snail trail or something. Uh, next one. In front of the final build construction sign. Between LV and four in LS, damn, that's a lot. Disconnected from chat. Nice, thanks, Twitch. I guess I will just go and fuck myself. I can't see where I'm going. That looks like final something construction. I'm gonna go and park like over here though. Street band that says Hasbro and Garcia Joint Festival. It's like literally right here. Again, I'm better off running. Yeah, maybe for these, a bike would be better, but... Oh. Is that one done? In a small park here. Yeah, this heli is definitely not worth it. Fuck it, I'm getting a car. I can always go back to the airport if I need to get something else later. Yeah, the hell is just too slow. I really, really hate this song. That is very unfortunate because I like this song. So, unlucky. Hello? In the air above the tennis court. Never gonna get it, never gonna get it. Yatch. Oh shit, see. That's kinda hot. It's fine, I'm just dying of cringe. Must be quite an extreme hatred if uh, the song makes you die of cringe. Tara directly south of the last snapshot. In the tower. Oh, up here. Oh, yeah. The song came out in, like, yeah, early 2000s. 
BYOB release date. 2005. It's off a building. Uh, this big gray building, I think. Yeah. Huge shot cut. There's flowers. Wait, I might be able to get it through the wall again. Huge. I saw it like the tiniest little bit. Okay, next one. It's like right on this corner. Above the hippie shopper building. Hippie shopper? Hippie shopper. Alright. Speeding through them now. Above the cinema entrance. Here. Didn't know there was a cinema here. The Wizard of Ass. Nice, dude. Brilliant. Uh, above the City Hall building. This. <laughs> At the east side entrance of City Hall. Oh, just two. Is that not the same one? Oh, there's one above it as well. Through the wall. Easy. The northwest side of a purchasable property. This one? Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, I know where this is. It's like right underneath the canopy where you, you buy the property. I guess I'll buy it while I'm here. Assuming it's not like a million quid, because some properties are mega expensive. Like the last one that I bought was a hundred grand. I was like, fuck no. Uh, we need to be around this side. Yeah. 50k. 50k fucking chump change. Oh, there's another one on the other side of this building, around the back. As well. Let me take this before I get busted. Yeah. Alright. On the chimney of a factory. Here.
Slumvan. Hold up. Give me this right fucking now. I don't care what I'm up to. Give me this slum van. I'll keep it actually. Use it for the rest of the snapshots and then store it when I get a chance. Why not? In Chinatown at a Chinese looking tower. What does that mean, game? This thing? Looks fairly oriented. Top of a tall building, it must photograph this from the other side of the streets that you can look far enough. It's like here. Some of the photograph in this way. Go away. On top of another tall building, it can be photographed from across the street. Oh, this one's literally just here. Just on the other side. Did your daddy kiss you? Don't at the garage as well, it's right nearby. Yeah. Oh yeah, I see it there. Not quite. Man -man, Can you like fuck off? Oh my god, I didn't mean to fucking fling myself off here. That was a bit silly, champ, if you will. Ouch, look out! Way off, so you fucking dickhead. Easy. Hey Leo, thanks buddy. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it, Trivenarch. Even if you couldn't quite understand the poor Geordie. Not the easiest accent to understand in your defense. Uh, is that a decent car anywhere? No. Okay, so I'm taking this. I need that shit you drive. The run's going well. Yeah, it's going pretty well. Just currently doing uh, some snapshots, making decent progress so far. Uh, right, this one's done. Number thirty. Between two tall buildings. Here. And we got a slam bang, so that's good. Can't really complain about that. Hey! Yoink. It's between these, I guess. Inside a building, entered via the street to the north, inside a twisted architectural structure. Inside here. Yeah, somewhere I can see the purple. Above the price display of the gas station. Why is the audio so awful on the set on the horn sound? This is that. It sounds like distorted almost. Like really like low quality. Okay. 
on top of the military ship of an anti-air turret. Oh, Jesus. You can take the picture from the train bridge to the north without entering the harbor. Oh, that's, that's much better. Kind of sounds like a blown speaker. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, yeah, that kind of like ruined audio kind of deal. Yeah. It's really strange. All right, let's go up onto the bridge then and see if we can take it from up there. Because I don't really want to get five stars by going into the military thing. If I can avoid it. Oops. Oh, uh, maybe I can't because of this. Yeah, I think I'm too far away. Yeah, I think it's like above that AA gun it said. Alright, I guess we're gonna have to go and uh, risk ourselves. Or well, maybe we can do it from like right here. Spawn it in, like through the wall. Yeah, I'm a fucking genius. Uh, in front of the first bridge, Pillar of Gaba Bridge. Might be able to do this one from here as well. I guess it counts as here. Is it all the way at the top? I don't know if I'll be even be able to do these ones because of not unlocking the bridge. I don't think it's the train bridge though, it's the actual bridge bridge. But even still, it'll be a lot tougher, I think. Hey Dab, good morning. I think the first one I'll probably be able to do not anything more than that. Let me get that one up because it's raining. I don't know how I'm gonna get the other one because it's so far away. But you would think like you would be able to do all the snapshots before finishing some fear, right? But yeah, like how the fuck am I supposed to get this one? All the way over there. Cause I can't spawn it in, right? I guess I might have to just save that one until I unlock SF, which is shit. Or until I unlock LV. Anyone have any ideas? Like, is this possible or is it just not on the until later? I guess I'll come back to it. front of a clock tower by the coast. I just like cancelled the thingy animation somehow. How's the vehicle handling? Uh, it's... It's okay. It's just bad because it's raining. I wanna test that. I can't even fall off the bike if I try. Yeah, you can cancel it by just aiming. Does that just work with like any gun? I didn't know you could do that. Oh. 
You can. You could just aim and just skip the fall down animation. Brilliant. <laughs> Good old definitive. Uh, top of the antenna on a rooftop of a hotel. Oh, it's just here. Shout out to GSG for adding uh, animation cancelling. Yeah. Huge. I'm sure it's probably already been known for a very long time, but I, you know, I don't look at D stuff because I couldn't care less about this piece of shit. Oh, that is really high. Holy fuck. Gonna need to get some distance for this one. There we go. Get some more camera ammo just in case. You never know. On top of a statue here. Everybody wants to be like me. Too true. Inside of a park on the Serpentine Path. Serpentine Path. That's a weird way to describe that. But I know what they mean. It's here. Get the Hawaii P30 if you want range. It's the phone that can take pics of the moon. You mean uh, one of the types of phones that was proven to fake pictures of the moon? Because they actually just use AI to upscale the uh, the pictures. How many did you have I done so far? About fifty percent uh, less. I've got twelve out of thirty-five. But obviously, I'm like making progress to loads of different ones. So like, I'm not actually only like, you know, a quarter of the way there. Was it Samsung doing that as well? Yeah, they all did. Like, all of those, like, pictures of the moon are all done via AI. It's been proven. You can look it up. If you don't believe me, they're all fake. Like, all that it does is it uses an AI algorithm. You take a picture of the moon, and it, like, uses the different pictures from the internet of the moon... To then, like, you know, enhance, like, the craters and stuff like that to get, like, the image. Because, yeah, people did people did tests where they'll take a picture of the moon and they'll, like, distort it to where, like, the image data doesn't have any of the craters and stuff. And then you put it into, like, the phone software or, or whatever. Or, like, you take a picture of it, print it out with your phone, and it creates craters even though the image didn't have that in the original one. Because it's just using, like, default pictures of the moon to, like, fill in the gaps. Yeah. There's one you're going to love, oh, all Ganware tests. Yeah, I mean, I I've looked at which what achievements there are. Yeah. <clears throat> Fucked up if true. It's true. It's like, uh, AI upscaled moon phone. Uh, this one is for Samsung, but yeah, it's the same thing. Uh, right. Above a Chinese gate next to a purchasable property. Straight here. Whoops, I mean to on pause. We'll buy that house while we're there as well. Yes. I'm gonna run out of money soon. I need to start doing uh, export lists. But I can only do export lists when I've done one cars, and I can only do one cars once I've. Uh, once I've done driving school. <laughs> I think I've unlocked driving school now. Yeah, I have. 
So we can do that soon. Because the earlier I unlock export, the easier it's going to be. Because obviously the more time I have to like find the cars and stuff. Uh, above a supermarket building. Where is this? Oh, the the property doesn't show because I haven't like unlocked it yet. I haven't like been there yet. But it's like here. I think my message didn't go through because I said a naughty word. Oh, did you sub? Yeah, it didn't come through. Unlucky. Unlucky. So totally Thanks for the money though, sucker. Oh, there's armor here. All right, hands up. Who knew this armor was here? Who knew this shopping trolley was here? Come on. Who knew? Hey, heavy flavor, thank you. I'm really sorry, buddy. I did not mean to do that. I knew. Liar! Liar! It's twice I've caught you out. Liar! Alright, this one's just next to the house. Yeah, dude, I knew that since 2003. Damn, this guy's ahead of his time. 20k. We've still got enough money. Cope. I'm actually going to be so upset if I have to do the whole of San Fierro and I am one snapshot down because I can't get it unless I unlock fucking desert. It's so annoying. For a rotating burger at a burger shop. Hey, Chubb, what's up? Chubb, do you have any idea how to get uh, this snapshot here in Definitive Edition without uh, without unlocking desert? It seems to be like impossible because you need to be like within range to spawn the icon for it to count. Unlike the original where you don't have to be. So it's like, how on earth do you get here when the bridges are down, you know? Like there's seemingly no way to do it. Unless I maybe like get a heli and fly over and like land on like, you know, a hitbox or something. I don't know. We can maybe give it a try. I think Dates gets it in the other segment after he's unlocked Arena. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense to just wait until later. But I don't want to, you know, I'm stubborn. I want to just get it now. Just for the sake of doing it, you know. Ow. Yeah, I can try a helicopter. It would be cool if I can get it at a time. Isn't it possible to get it through a wall? It is possible to take snapshots through walls, but the problem is that you need to get close enough for this to spawn in, you see? Like, if you're too far away and you and you take a picture of this, it doesn't work. Like, let me try and show you. You see? Like, e even, even though you're, like, perfectly aiming at it, it doesn't work. You have to, like, get close enough for it to count. And you can't really get close to the bridge because it's all water around it. And obviously you can't take a picture when you're swimming. The entrance exit of the road tunnel. Here. What about a boat? Maybe, yeah. But it's really high up because it's on the top of the bridge, right? It's like all the way at the top of the tower at the bridge. So I don't know if you, you would be too low if you're at a bridge, because obviously you can only look so high. Yeah. Which is why I think heli might be better. Like you can maybe fly and like, you know, land on some kind of piece of geometry, like invisible or something. Yeah. But we can try it out later. Uh, 
got a couple more to do and then I'll go back to it. Halfway up the up the outside of a tall building. Here. Oh, excuse me. Need to go a bit further back. Uh, on a rock at the pier. So many snapshots are in odd places. Yeah, they are. Wow, rock. The dumbest part is that you don't actually photograph like the actual landmark, you know? Uh, Pier 69. That's like right here. Look at this fucking proximity penalty, dude. One and then two. That's egregious. How the hell are you supposed to find them casually without a guide? Yeah, I have no idea. Especially with, uh, especially with, what's it called? Definitive. Because you have to be aiming with the camera for the icon to even appear. Like, if you don't, if you're not, like, aiming in with the, with the, with the, the camera, it's not even there. Which is super fucking weird. At the pier above a submarine. So you couldn't even like find them by accident, you know? Because you have to be like actively searching for them. Where is this little one here? Oh, the next one apparently is way easier with a boat. So I'll go to this one first. And then come back. Yeah, I feel like that would make way more sense, like, just having it so you have the camera, or just having them there anyway, like, why not? You know? This isn't gonna count, is it? I need to be closer. Can I run up those, uh... Can I run up those things for, like, the ice-cold killer roof now? Or are they blocked off? Hey, Mac, thanks for the 43 months. God damn. Hey, Glamarius, what's up? I can go up here. It's probably the easiest way to get close, right? It's like, go up here. Right? Surely. Yeah, 43 months is fucking chat shit. There we go. Boom. <clears throat> Alright, second to last one is apparently on the back of this. But I assume I can't get it from, like, here. It's apparently, like, above this. Yeah. So we need to get a boat, then we need to go and get a heli. Uh, where's the nearest boat? To here, is my next question. 
can't do it from here, can I? No. Uh, I guess I'll go and get the, uh, the squalor. Where is dinghy? Where is the dinghy? Is it, like, over here? Next to the pizza place? That's further on. I could steal just any of these boats, right? Oh yeah, it's like here, isn't it? On one of these. I remember what you mean now. And there's like an armor spawn next to it. Are you all thinking of the same one? Is that the one that's next to the pizza place? This looks correct. Here? Yeah. yeah. Hey Tom. What's up, big guy? Let's bounce. How's this been going? Uh, yeah, it's, it's alright. It's good content. Epic uh, water, whatever this is, whatever you call it, like water trail. Look at it. Max graphics, by the way. It looks like smoke coming out the back, but it's water. Still looking like hair gel. Yeah, it's a good way of describing it. Looks, uh, looks pretty terrible. Oh dear. Okay. Just go like here, I guess. Slowly drift until we get there. All right, forty-nine out of fifty. Last one. I guess we'll just go like all the way around until the airport. Nah, it's surely not worth it. Surely better to go and get like a bike or something. Whee! Uh, a taxi with boost would be quite good. A cop bike is better. I'm having this bike. Around 3D any percent of the marathon recently for the first time. Nice. Sounds like a blast. <laughs> Speaking of submitting GTA runs to marathons, I'm quite. Uh, I wouldn't have fallen off there, by the way. I should have stayed on. I'm, uh, I'm half tempted to maybe uh, submit to the next UKSG event in May. I've never been to Scotland, so it would be a cool reason to go. And obviously if I'd go, I'd submit some GTA stuff. So. Might be able to squeeze it in in my, uh, my busy schedule. Watch the one with your Titan Vice run from ESA, it's super fun. Glad you liked it. Also heard that Thrice was out, yeah. That's why I want to finish this as, qu as quickly as possible, so I can go and do uh, Thrice. So I'm excited to play that. Open. Don't bust me. race is very good. I was very surprised to see you racing it 
um, at all, considering that, like, you haven't even beaten, like, regular three before. It's, uh, it's a ballsy move to be, like, <laughs> never completed three before. Let's play, like, a mega ultra hard mode of it, you know? I respect it. You have beaten it at ESA this year? That doesn't count. Like, y you played, like, a third of the game. Yeah. Doesn't count. Uh, right, where the fuck am I going again? I'm brain farting. Oh, yeah, we're going, like, here. It's, like, the second, what's it called? Like, structure. Not structure, the whole thing's a structure. You know what I mean? The second, like, uh... What are they called on bridges? Like these, those big toll bits that hold like the cables and stuff. Whatever those are called. We're going to the second one of those. Over here. Supports? Yeah, I guess. Arch? It's not really an arch. Anyway, whatever. You know what I mean. Oh shit, I've got five stars. I should not have flown over that. Well, that'll make this more fun, I'm sure. Okay, can I literally just park on here? Or, like, what's the deal? Seems I can just park on it. Oh, fuck. Hello, FBI people. Uh, this is gonna be a very quick picture stop. Hi, guys. Ow. Picture. I can't even see it. And I'm just getting melted. For fuck's sake. Because I just happened to fly over the fucking thingy zone. <sighs> fuck's sake. Well, time to fucking... I lost all my weapons too. It's so bent. <sighs> well, time to do that all again, lol. Go and get another camera, and then go and get another heli, and fly a slightly different route to avoid getting fucking insta-killed by people. Have you not dated Katie? No, I haven't dated Katie. Captain Hindsight would be like, oh yeah, should have done it before, but I didn't expect to die, believe it or not. At no point during this did I expect to die. Learn how to drive. All right. We spoke to I don't even know if I have to write stats for Katie. I have no idea. Because I don't have like a special haircut or anything. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. So, I have no idea if I even meet the requirements to date her. But I can try at some point. Just get the bullet. But just the bullet won't work. Like, you also need more sex appeal than just having a good car. Don't make me like, the haircut gives you X amount towards it as well. And having, like, a certain amount of muscle and fat and stuff like that also helps. And yeah, I don't know if I have like the right levels or not. I have no clue. Fuck. All right, let's try it again. Yeah, I don't, I don't really care about the car. Like that's the least of my concerns. Cause as long as you're there in the daytime, you can just steal a caddy from like literally right where she is. And that counts as like a sexy car. So, I might have to go and get a sexy haircut as well. Okay, now. All right. Clothes gotta be pretty sexy, yeah. 
I don't know if clothes give sex appeal. You would think they would, right? So maybe I need to get a new fucking fit as well. I need to get a bit more riz on me. All right, let's let's avoid this like the fucking plague. to get some sexy clothes as well instead of fucking valet uniform and joggers <laughs> all right take two where's the snapshot there snapshot yeah oh i get money as well and on the bright side is I'm pretty sure this gives me guns at the uh, the what's it called now as well. Yeah, weapons delivered to San Fierro. So now, even though I lost all my guns, I will at least get some compensation back at the garage. So that's somewhat of a victory. You can't this snapshot of the other ones in the wall. I think you can. I think I was just in the wrong place and I was, you know, I didn't have enough time to figure it out because I was just getting massacred. Let's see what I get. I think it's just the same weapons. I don't know. Grenade, sniper rifle, SMG shotgun. That's pretty that's a pretty good combination actually. Oh my god, fuck off. Sup. The cash is leaving Los I don't care, man. Go away. I have to let this one slide, man. Got too much shit on my plate. Christ. Alright, um. What was I gonna do next? Oh yeah, I wanna keep doing missions. Because I want to get to you a Mike Torino. Hey, my cousin just called me. He gave me a tip because about a I am um... going to San Fierro to score yay. Shit. We got to find out who's supplying those kicks. Read your mind, Holmes. I picked them up at the Mulholland intersection, and I'm trailing them now. Okay, yeah, I'm I want to I want to get some Mike Torino because that's got a missable Holmes, achievement. And I also want to get to Snail Trail. So then I can go back to LS and then do the basketball minigame as well for an achievement. And also buy a property that I'm going to buy afterwards as well. Also, this is a pretty good strat using a heli for this. Huge. Imagine watching speedruns. It's just so cringe when you think about it. I can't wait to fucking hit a tree that doesn't actually exist. Die. It's my favorite GTA minigame. Uh, playing keep yuppies with the beach ball in Vice City. Shame we can't just fly straight to the angel pine from here. The game on CJ's PlayStation in his house, yeah. Where we going? There is a good amount of um, like games within games in San Andreas, them up. to be fair. Like, there's also like arcade cabinets and stuff that you can play inside the bars and stuff like that. It's cool. Playing pool is also really fun. Because it's just like mega janky. It's always a good laugh.
actually. Oh, I'm bouncing. My favorite uh, GTA 4 minigame is darts, because you literally just click where you want them to go. So you just click the highest score over and over again. <laughs> it's like no skill involved, it's fucking mint. Oh no. You just like, hmm, I think I will 180 this round. <laughs> click, click, click. Hmm, yes. Oh god, I must... yeah, that was not a good idea. Probably. Looking for a problem, puto? You know why the cursor shake that much is it an FPS thing? I don't know, maybe. I remember just like literally just going like click, click, click. Maybe I'm just fucking built different. Rip to your boy, but I'm different. There it is, Holmes! Watch! You sherm head! This business is bigger than any gang, is it? Rider! Little bitch! <sighs> Come on, go. This guy take himself real serious. That's T-Bone Mendez! No slow-mo on taking pics? No, they just removed that for some reason. Why did he park so far away? <laughs> Hey, the fuck, the I, don't like I was like, where is he? This more than a few thugs push a product. It's a serious organization. Jizzy's gonna fucking run him over. How many of these clowns are there? Ah, uh, I know a pimp when I see one. They being clever about this. It ain't no exchange of nothing incriminating. Great mission, 10 out of 10. That was some heavy shit. We better split up and get out of here. I'll meet you back at the garage, eh? Coolio, we got what we came Coolio. for anyway. You hype for CS2, Ben? Uh, yes, but that doesn't mean I'll play it. <laughs> but the videos that I've seen have been like showing new mechanics and stuff. Look really cool. And I probably won't play much of it, if at all. Alright, um... Oh, I, I want to do driving school as well. And Zero's missions. Fuck, I have so much to do. I'm Blood Bowl. Holy shit. Let's go and do Blood Bowl. Uh, we'll see if we can date Katie. Because it's all nearby. Uh, we also need to do gym moves as well at some point. Need to get, like, ripped enough for it. First. Um. And then we'll do driving school. Do I have the 3 in VC achievements? Yeah. The, the VC one was epic, Dev. I don't know if you saw. Um. There's an achievement to get all the other achievements in the game. And I unlocked all the other achievements, but then the one for unlocking all the other achievements never unlocked. And obviously I can't unlock that one. Like, so I was just like soft locked out of getting it. So I just used the uh, fucking Steam Achievements Manager and just unlocked it for myself because fuck you. I'm not gonna restart my entire playthrough and do like another 20 hours of shit. Hey, hustle, what's up? Alright. Wow, 
Wow, look at this. Why is it so dusty? Yeah, these guys are smuffing on me. Fuck off. That is bollocks. That was mine. How do I not get that one first? And that would have fucking won me the game as well. What a the bollocks that is. But that one I can like. It fucking spawns behind me. Oh, oh, bro. Stop spawning behind me. Yeah, there we go. Finally, some luck. Like, I went through the checkpoint. Yeah, so if you don't know, like, these mini games are coded like shit. Basically, how it works is only a certain few of them can actually collect the checkpoints. The others are just trying to ram into you. And then some of them are just like driving around aimlessly. Only like a third of the people actually go for the checkpoints at all. It's mega dumb. Oh, I didn't go and check K, that's fine. That's Literally griefing, yeah, literally. Pretty sure a uh, golf cart should spawn here. Yeah, there we go. Yunk. See if she'll date me. Hello. Am I sexy? Yeah. Here, call me, baby. Oh, great! I'll call you later. Let's go. Also, we need to take her out on a date at some point because we need to date all the uh, the girlfriends. But yeah, having her buff is going to be very beneficial, I'm sure. You know, the checkerboard pattern is so uh, ubiquitous in presenting the lack of a texture. I legit thought the car was missing its roof for a moment. Yeah, that's a, that's a easy mistake to make. I don't blame you for that. Whoops. Perfect. If they just saw the way I just fucking parked up there, they would have given me the uh, the driving school certification immediately. They would be like, yo, here's the, uh, the fucking thing. All right, let's go. 360. Uh, hold W and space, and then left and right. Okay. Interesting controls. Amazing. I don't think I need no I don't need gold or anything right I just need to pass them yeah just need to get a medal the only golds I'll be going for are on flight school to try and get the hunter for vigilante everything else I just need to pass does CJ have a driving license canonically no derp he doesn't he even says in one of like the random quotes when you hit someone, he says like, you know, I don't have a license or something like that, right? Like one of his voice lines is talking about the fact that he doesn't have a license. I'm pretty sure. So canonically, he doesn't. I think.
So if you wanted to beat the game without committing a crime, you can't drive until you get to San Fierro. I guess it depends on like what you define as like having a license because like doing this wouldn't actually obviously give you a license realistically. So you just wouldn't be able to drive at all and you, you're required to drive in the uh, in the second mission so you would you would fail immediately. Yeah, you would soft lock yourself. Because yeah, this is like advanced like circuit school. It's not like actually learning to drive. Oh, yeah, he even, he even drives in the uh, in the introduction. That's very true. Yeah. Hey, Mash, what's up? Welcome. Working up a super license points. Uh. My instincts disappeared. Whoops, just mashed a cone, but that's fine. I, I get that reference, but I couldn't tell you where it's from. It's from some kind of game, right? A super license thing. Alley -oop. Okay, let's see this, see how long this takes me. Oh, that was fucking... <laughs> Woo! That was sick. I didn't even, like, turn the car in midair or anything. That was just, like, the perfect fucking flip. I don't think I've ever done a flip that perfect in my life, like, ever. That was sick. Hey, Tim Ping, what's up? Hope you're all taking notes on uh, how to how to complete that with 100% gold. You know, just just do the perfect flip. Problem solved. It's easy. Easiest driving school of my life. Boom. School's out. Fully complete a vehicle school. Nice. Hey, my golf caddy disappeared. That's kind of fucked up. Guess I'll take this. Alright, so now I should get a call about one cars, I think. Yo, CJ! Or maybe I have to wait until later. No, you don't have to get golds for 100%. You just need to meddle the scores. Uh, in the meantime, let's go and do uh, Zero's missions. So, or shall we save Zero's missions for another time and do like Courier instead? I think we should do Courier while we're here before I forget that it exists because I've done that before. Yeah, we'll do Courier. Keep you all on the edge of your seats with enthralling gameplay. My PC specs are in my FAQ, which is underneath the stream. 10 ping. Fuck zero, yeah, agreed. Uh right, whereabouts is courier? It's it's literally right here, isn't it? Somewhere. The hippie shopper. Or is there a different hippie shop? I think it's further down. Yeah, here it is. Different hippie shop. Oh, 
Oh, actually, I don't even think you have to go to my FAQ. Let me check. I think you can literally just scroll down on my Twitch channel and my specs are there. I think I changed it. My Twitch channel and my specs. Yeah, they are. Oh, my HelloFresh panel is still there. Yeah, they're getting free advertisement. Let me remove that. There we go. There we go. Specs are uh, underneath. Just scroll and scroll down. You can see them. There we go. I, I like never check my uh, my panels underneath, so I forgot to remove the HelloFresh thing. XD. You have a 4090? God damn. Fucking millionaire. Hey, move it, idiot. I was uh, speaking to Liv about this earlier, by the way. Does anyone here have a Steam Deck? If you do, would you recommend it? It's like, I'm very tempted to buy one. Now that you can actually, like, buy it and you don't have to, like, reserve it. I'm very tempted to buy, like, the mid-tier one. You know, like, the, the one with, like, the 256 NVMe. Because, yeah, like, it'd be so nice to, like, go through my Steam backlog. And just play games in, like, bed or on the sofa and stuff without having to, like, sit at my PC. Because, like, I already sit at my PC for, like, eight hours a day at work, you know? So it'd be nice to not have to, like, then if I want to play games afterwards, sit at my PC more. Like, my chair's comfy and stuff, but it's just not good for you, you know? And I could also, like, take it to the gym and, like, travel and stuff with it. I don't know if I'd recommend it. It's decent, don't get me wrong, but I prefer PC. Yeah. But I'm not asking you, like, oh, is it better to play PC or Steam Deck? Because obviously, yeah, PC is better. But I'm saying, like, you know, is the Steam Deck good is what I'm asking for. Basically. Yeah, it's also 10% off, which is why I kind of want to get one, because it'll save me 40 quid. Good, well, it's good and bad. What is bad about it? What are the drawbacks? And don't just say it's not as good as a PC. Because, yeah, no shit. <laughs> it's a fucking handheld, what do you expect? How long is all achievements for the GTA games? Um, good question. I think GTA 3 took me like 10 hours. VC maybe like 12, because I got screwed by some achievements not unlocking. SA, if I had to guess, probably like 25, 30, because it's a much longer game. Screen small, yeah. Lol. I was surprised by the resolution. It's fucking 16 by 10. Like, it's like 1200 by 800. It's nuts. On a seven inch screen, I was not expecting that. But you can, if you're on the go, you can dock it like you can, like a switch, you know, to put it on a monitor and get like proper like 1080p. I just killed that person with that package. My bad. Uh, slower times. I can't get up this hill. Slower times, short battery life, large bezels, stream OS feels unfinished, noisy fan almost never stops whining, not great for people with visual accelerators. Accessibility issues. Yeah, that's like one of like my only kind of not like a big concern, but like a minor concern is like obviously my eyesight isn't super good. So like, will I even be able to see what the fuck I'm doing? You know, because like scaled down to such a small screen. But. I played through some games on Live Switch on like the handheld part of the li of on Live Switch, and it was fine. Like I, I could see everything just fine. But uh, can someone quickly check how big is the screen for the Switch? I'm blinding my right eye, and I can see it decently enough out my left. On it, I should be fine, right? If you're fine. Seven inches. Okay, so it should be the same as the Steam Deck. So yeah, I should be fine. Because I was able to use the Switch and it was even better. Like it was fine. 
6.2. Okay, so yeah, the Steam Deck's screen is bigger, so yeah. Like, it would be better than the Switch, and the Switch was fine. I didn't have any issues with the Switch, so... Yeah. Alright, that's good to know. OLED one is 7? Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. I, I'm very tempted to get one. Does anyone know when the, uh, the Steam sale ends? How long do I have to to get it? How many rounds of deliveries do you have to do? Four, I think? Something like that. It's, it's not a lot. I think it's like four or five levels. People are getting the beta invites for CS2 now. Yeah, I saw that. It does look really good. But I'll give it to Valve. Tomorrow? Does it really end tomorrow? I feel like it barely started. Oh, it is. Shit. Okay, well then I need to kind of make a decision if I want to buy one. I'll have to sleep on it tonight and pull the trigger tomorrow if I want to. Like, I can afford it now. Like, I can just buy it and still afford everything I need to. But I thought I'd have more time to to <laughs> deliberate it, you know. Good thing I checked. Have I got a Switch? No, Liv has a Switch and I've used hers. But I would never buy a Switch for myself personally because fuck Nintendo. I don't really care for any of their games. And yeah, like a Steam Deck blows the Switch out of the water, like so much more powerful and it can like steam deck can do everything you know like like a switch all you can do is just play like a very small library of switch games whereas like steam deck you can like install linux on it if you want to install windows steam os do your entire steam library you can emulate like you could even play switch games on your steam deck with like a yuzu emulator and stuff yeah like it's it's not even like worth thinking about like if you know anything about like tech and like emulation and like how to set that kind of stuff up like yeah there's, it's a no-brainer to get a steam deck instead hello meryl and hello liz how's it going you can reset it in 14 days if you end up not enjoying it yeah that's true i could just buy it and if i don't get on with it then or I have like, you know, visual issues or anything. I could just return it, it's true. Very true, very true. What the shoot? Excuse me. <laughs> or I could just wait and pay full price anyway, but you know, 40 quid's quite a lot of money to save on buying something. If I'm gonna buy it anyway, may as well buy it now, right? That one up north is fucking miles away, I'm gonna come back to it. Awkward alleyways. Have you checked other websites for discount? I haven't. Because all I've seen on third-party websites is scalpers. People selling them for, like, way more. But if, if you know of a, of, of a good re retailer that would sell me one new for less than 400 quid, then I'm all ears. But, yeah, like, I looked on, like, eBay and stuff, and even second-hand ones were going for, like, 450 plus. Because, obviously, there was a such low supply of them before that people were, like, buying them and selling them for way more. Yeah. I, I think the scalping was just like leftovers fuzz. Do you check StockX? I have no idea what that is. Never heard of it. Is that like uh It's like eBay? Okay. Well if it's like eBay then it's probably gonna be as useless, right? Like people just selling them for way more than that. 
It's for selling Jordans. Yeah. Full of scalpers. Yeah, I mean, makes sense, right? Like, Steam Deck was, like, the most scalp thing I've ever fucking seen. Because, obviously, you had to be basically be on a waiting list to pre-order it. Or not even just to pre-order it, just to order it, full stop. So, yeah. I don't really feel like getting scalped, so I feel like if I'm, if I'm gonna buy one, I'll just buy it for cheap, brand new from Valve, right? Then I avoid all problems, you know? Oops, I can just throw another one. Alright, should be it. Excuse me. Lowest price on StockX is four fifty five, yeah exactly. Like five twelve models have premium anti glare etched glass. I don't think I would need that though. For the extra hundred quid, I don't think it's worth it. Because I don't need a 512 gig SSD. 256 is more than enough. Hey, watch it. Almost stepped on my and also, yeah, like, I don't need anti glare glass. Like, I don't think I'm ever going to be using it to a point where that would benefit me. So. Is that everything? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And if I buy it, then I get a proper warranty and everything. Yeah. That's what I mean as well. It's way more beneficial than buying secondhand. All right, let's do some more missions. Actually, should we do? Let's do fucking Zero's missions. Fuck it. They're right here. It's it's literally like efficient to do so, and we need to buy his shop anyway. I could live with glaring on my Game Boy Advance, I can live with a bit of glaring on my Steam Deck, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I said, Give me your money. You're in my way, chump. Are you sure every delivery for Valve on the HL was one time the driver left my in the fucking bin? I mean, to be fair, putting it in the bin isn't the worst idea. Like, obviously it sounds dumb, but it's going to be, like, protected from, like, the elements, and it's also going to be in, like, attack. a safe place, this you know? Is this is insanity! Great kid, nice don't audio. get cocky! Yeah, like, it does kind of make sense. Because no one's going to steal it if it's in the bin. Because no one's going to think to look there. You just got to hope that the bin men don't come and take it away before you get there. <laughs> The raccoons might have a look. I'm sure people have. I mean, yeah, people have robbed from everything, but that doesn't make like my theory incorrect. Like, high, Carl. You know, with, with the same logic, like, oh, it's not safe to be with the Amazon driver because the Amazon driver could be fucking held at gunpoint and forced to hand over your package. Like, yeah, but you can't really think about it that way. You know? The bin is safer than the doorstep, that's what I'm saying. Oops. I mean, yeah, James, if someone's pulling that shit, then. Then go. Then, uh, then, yeah, definitely go snooping, you know? The amount of people that I'll just, like, throw stuff away because they can't be asked to sell it on Marketplace. Fuck yeah, take it if you want it. So much of my furniture in this place, in my old place. It's just like people getting rid of stuff. And me just being like, yo, I'll have it. Like my recliner leather chair in my living room 
or just somebody in Beverly wanting to get rid of it, so just gave it to me for free. I wish there were more like big re recycling facilities near where I live. There's barely any. Like we have a big Tesco that has like clothes recycling and like obviously like glass and whatever else. But like there isn't really like an electronics recycling place here. So if you want to get rid of electronics, you either have to like sell them or if they're broken, just like bin them, which is fucking shit. Like it's such a waste. Of But like, yeah, I, I, there's none. Like, I'd have to travel miles to. <laughs> Berkeley. As long to, as we have like, a drop them off we will fight you. Hey, Bones, what's up? Well done, Carl. Now leave. Thanks, buddy. This mission should be fun. Flying Berkeley the plane. Has his sycophantic lackeys do all his deliveries. Launch the Red Baron. I'm launching. How do I fly? Ah, yes, with the mouse. Class, I should have known. And an E to fire the guns. Okay. Uh, you have to give me a second to try and get used to these fucking shit controls. Oh, nice. I just clipped through the uh, fence. Easy. Oh my god, these controls are fucking trash. So to those who haven't been around to understand how shit these controls are, you have to drag your mouse to turn. I shit you not. Like, to pull up and down and left and right? I can't even turn out- I can't even figure out- Actually, it doesn't even work for left and right. It just works for up and down. Once you're in the air, I have no idea how to turn. I have no idea what the buttons are. Like, A and D kind of work a little bit, but not really. Look at this guy. What is he doing? Do you see him just, like, mad fucking pedaling there? He was, like, pedaling like fuck him. Was just going nowhere. What a guy. Yeah, left and right doesn't work, actually. How do I turn? What are the buttons? How do I turn, man? Flight ascend, descend, left, right, left and right mouse button. Arrow keys and left and right mouse button. Nice, dude. So, I... wait, wait, so, so I have to use, hold on, so I have to use W and W to accelerate, steer with the arrow keys, and then using my third hand, I have to use left and right click to go up and down. <laughs> How the fuck am I supposed to do that? <laughs> oh my god, this is horrible. <laughs> Bro, this is impossible. And they're so unresponsive. 
Like, I hold the button, it takes so long for anything to happen. Oh my god. What is happening? I, I legit cannot control this. Okay, new plan. We're just gonna stay on the ground and drive it like a car. Like, there we go. Uh, it, it just takes off immediately. It doesn't even work. Oh, it kind of does if I hold it down. This guy's legit driven away from me in the time. That I'm trying to figure this shit out. This kind of works. Huge. <laughs> no. The buttons don't even work. I just tried the mouse just to see. It doesn't even work. I just pressed it. It didn't do anything. So like ascend or descend. It doesn't do anything. Only the arrow keys work, but there's like insane input delay. This is awful. Holy shit. Incredible. How am I supposed to fucking get Oh, that's actually kind of busted. Alright, let's go. <laughs> like, you take off and it just... You just immediately start turning even though I'm not pressing anything. Like, I'm just holding W and it just spins me out. Like, immediately starts turning left. I'm not holding A or, like, moving my mouse or anything. It just does it on its own. So fucking weird. Jesus, this is fucking atrocious. Like, helis were bad enough, but wow. I honestly couldn't think of a worse control scheme if I tried. I honestly couldn't. Quop. But Quop is like intended to be that bad, right? You know, it's like it's deliberately done for like the challenge or whatever of it. This is like just bugged to shit. Well, it's not bugged. Well, it kind of is bugged. But it's also just like piss poor decisions. Whereas like Quop is like it knows its limits, you know? come towards me. Yeah, I mean, like, the controls are clearly in, like, intended, right? Because they're mapped that way. But the, uh, the input delay is surely not intended. Like, how unresponsive it is is surely just surely not intended. How am I going to get back up on the roof? <laughs> it means I actually need to fly, which is not good. We're well, making good progress though. I'm actually getting kind of good at this now. Oh shit, I'm going to have to stop on there as well. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be quite hard, I think. I might just try and like crash land and see how I do. Alright, start slowing down. Yeah? 
Dude, that was clean. Smell it. You know that ozone smell. <laughs> Smells like victory. That was fucking clean, dude. The rest of the mission, not so much, but... All right, last one. What's that in the and then we'll call the stream there. Behold. Nope. Oh god, more flying. <laughs> At least this one's helicopter's control, so this is less gross. Like, they're still not good, but they actually kind of make sense. I need to... Oh. <laughs> that was dumb. I blew myself up. <laughs> Fuck. I, I thought I would be able to drop the bomb without it blowing up if I dropped it from, like, a low enough distance, but no. I was incorrect. Oopsie. Uh, what's the next one? Okay, here. Can't you, like, drop these barrels on the, the tanks to blow them up? I'm pretty sure you can. Oh, I need to go and get a, what's it called? A plank. Plank, plank, plank. Carl, don't be an idiot. Use the goblin to move that barrel. I moved the barrel. No way it's back in the way. Hey, he's fine. What the fuck are you on about? Get a plank from our base and make a bridge across that gap. Easy. See? I'm gonna keep this because I'm pretty sure I can use it. Berkeley's using tanks. Carl, grab a bomb and get Pick rid of up. any tanks that threaten our progress. There we go. Quantara, you fucking pleb. I'm pretty sure you can literally just, like, do this. Oh, kind of. <laughs> go again. <laughs> can I just pick up the tank? I can just bat him out of the way. That kind of works. Hey, Nubis, what's up? Oh, this isn't really working. All right, let me go and get some bombs. Hold on, Zero, stay there. Oh, he's getting kind of massacred. Shit. Bandit get its tires popped. Yeah, it, he was like going backwards for some reason. Oh, there's fucking barrels blocking him. Boom. Plank. And quick, because I'm going to get this guy fucking bombed. Actually, I'll go and get the bomb first. Dude, he's getting destroyed. How are you supposed to do this? He takes so much damage so quickly. There isn't enough time. Like, I can't fly there and back Shit in geez. time. Car this bandit's nearly had it. Yeah, I'm aware, man. Drop it. I pressed R. Oh, my God. Berkeley shot this bandit up pretty good. I... What the fuck? Did I not pick it up? Let Berkeley blow up my I... bandit. Haha, <laughs> Berkeley. I still have two bandits. Oh, he has several. Okay. I picked up the bomb, did I not? I mashed R, like, so many fucking times. Again, like, the controls are so unresponsive. You have to press it, like, three or four times before it registers. Ugh, fucking hell. At least this gives me more time to fucking kill these guys. Get a 
minutes on the way back. Efficiency. Now we'll get the plank. And then we'll grab some more bombs and bring them back. What the fuck? these again I don't remember this being this fucked in the original oh my god man how many fucking times all right I need to go back and get a bomb at some point Let's go back, and go back and get a thing now. I'm gonna run out of time at this rate. This should be everything. All right. I was miles away from that explosion, but fair enough. Go off, King. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. I'm on the way. Carl, I'm blocked. I know. But you can just drive right through that tank. Of course. <laughs> I should have known. Whatever. We take that. Ha -ha! Ha! Berkeley, you, sir, are a loser. Leave the field of battle in shame, pack up your crummy mail order business, and get out of my town! Carl, you were all so a duelist like zero. me could want in a second. So based. Sir, I salute you. again up to 5k okay, look at this nice shiny blade as well do I need a blade for uh, for import does anyone know I might store it anyway just in case yeah I thought I did Oh my god, fuck off. Hey Caesar, the Yay leaving San Fierro, right? Right, but they're using bikes, CJ, and they go cross country. Go Not away. Right I feel like this is happening like check in it's supposed shit. to be twice a week. But this is they're calling me like legit every day. I swear down. What gun do I have? An SMG with no ammo. Alright. Cool. Made some solid progress today, I would say. Uh, let's see who's live. Who's live? Momo's live. What the fuck? Uh, a name's live, but I hosted a name yesterday. Amzi's live, but I... But I hosted Amzi the other day as well. Who's playing GTA on... Dingy. A oh, good run is streaming, my boy. Go and say hi to Mr. Good Ron for me. He's doing some uh, GTA 4 stuff. And I'll see you all very soon. Uh, say longer streams will resume um, after this week. I'm just doing the light shift at work, so apologies. But it means that I can't start my stream until later on. 
yeah uh have a good rest of your week if i don't see you uh thanks for stopping by and we'll continue some more maybe tomorrow if not tomorrow friday something like that uh but yeah see you all soon Mwah.